Brogue Beak Mountain was built upon hundreds of gutter corpses and sweat, blood and oil of the tireless crews of the Dark Shogunate. They created something nobody ever thought possible and built a home in gut. While most of the time the Dark King had expeditions or armies out in the world, exploring and conquering, there were also rare times of peace and quiet when the whole gang came together and worked hard to make Broke Beak Mountain a true capital. But of course, those times were indeed rare. And more often than not, the armies had to go out again soon and fight for the glory of their master. Like a phoenix from the ashes he rises He looks around, where is he now? The trade and imprisoned for one thousand years Now his free captors will pay their dues It's time for his armies to grow Hey guys, I'm Kerko. Welcome back to Kenshi, Legend of the Dark King. Welcome back to our base and the piles upon piles of big things, dead and alive. This guy I think might be, he's got missing information or mission information. Ah, okay, formation. I don't know why I thought it's gonna say missing information, but good thing it's not. So, today's episode, I had a plan to go and fix our base you know we our expedition has returned we've been running around doing expeditionary stuff for quite a while now how about we try to fix this or you know try to fix our mare for once so uh our hemp farms are now up to l and the main thing we really need to fix is power production because uh yeah wind over here sucks oh great zero percent wind that's amazing at least these guys out here have some wind, but that's not much. So that's one thing. I also wanted to put a harpoon or two on this side, but for that we're gonna need steel production. So as you can see, we have a lot to do in our base and I am... Yeah, this episode we're gonna work on our base. We're gonna fix our base. We have a lot of new people that can help fixing our base, even though it might not be exactly what they came here for. And um, yeah, I'm I'm okay with this. And after that, I think next episode we're gonna go out there on expedition again. How about you guys don't get stuck too much out here? There's plenty of food for you, but don't get stuck. Don't you worry. There's gonna be even more food. Uh, I did finally, finally, uh, build ourselves uh, one of these benches so we can have our people get repaired, like Clank over here. Alas, the power is gonna run out very soon, so that's not gonna be helpful. Uh, at least so well, we're gonna need somebody that's gonna be Just carrying the stuff around We're gonna need somebody to gonna be the main uh, laborer and Raleen, you know what? right now We have miss bread cooking and since we don't have two cook uh, Benches yet yet. We'll have that eventually. I'm gonna actually have you do the storage duty so Let's get you whole green fruit, whole cactus, whole wheat straw. Let's have you a whole hemp. And also, we're gonna need to get you in here to do some other hauling. Because in here we have cotton. I think that's, that's all the resources, right? Green fruit, cactus, wheat straw, hemp, cotton. I think that's all we have. The only thing that really doesn't grow over here is rice. The rest, everything grows. So this is a great place if you want to do farming i think it's actually a really good place also why we have a big thing dying over here can you go loot that it could be yours it could be yours i like your moon cleaver by the way i like moon cleavers so grab that store it somewhere and that thing's gonna get burned templar is back here making uh long coats we're just storing these that we can then eventually sell uh, you put a flared helmet as well. Yeah, we're gonna do some 
reorganizing as well when it comes to armor because we do have some nice samurai stuff and i also made the uh, flared helmets because i like flare helmets they have like 10 percent less protection on the uh coverage but otherwise like cut resistance is a bit lower than on the samurai helmet but the samurai helmet just has that you know big old melee attacks uh melee attack bonus goes down so i don't know this one is masterwork so this one is that this one's great definitely gonna use that now the question is who do we use this on and uh, the answer would be on our main boys oh great you're going for the door are you uh well how about you two can you shoot at this thing can you you see that's that's a problem over here right now there you go they can shoot at this thing good get out of here because if you're gonna stand over here the beakers are gonna come. In fact, uh, I'm gonna send everybody inside right now. And we're gonna close this. Uh, expedition forces, you're allowed to run at your full speed now as well. Uh, we're just gonna close these gates so people don't run out here and get stuck and do stupid stuff. I'm fine with that. But we'll also in this episode, we're gonna prepare this. That this is gonna be our like guard place. And uh, we're gonna have these gates open. And we're gonna have a bunch of our skelly boys set up over there. We also still have this dude, who I even managed to keep alive and not forget to feed. So we're gonna feed him, and we're gonna keep him going. Alright, so, uh, first things first, I'm gonna go and we're gonna store everything we got, and then we're gonna go back on working on some stuff. So everything is stored now, and I gave people stuff. Some new stuff, at least. Uh, Steel has got new pair of pants, so he's gonna be a bit more heavy armored. And he already had this Kingdom Samurai armor before that anyway. So, you know, this is this is pretty good. This is... Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, I'm seeing, like, this Kingdom Samurai armor has minus four melee attack bonus. That's pretty good. The one we made has minus eight. Yeah, so the Kingdom Samurai stuff is better. I did not expect that when I was looking at this, but I just noticed that, and that's pretty cool. Also, I think it's time we give uh, Luatham his royal robes that he deserves. Let's get him in here. Luatham, there you go. Noble's robe for you, and Noble's trousers. Now that is the man, the myth, the legend. The noble Luatham that we all know and like. He might not have any real protection from anything right now. Actually, this thing has a bit of, you know, cut resistance. A bit. You know, a bit. Uh, but it's not very good. Same for the pants. He's not really going to be tanking anything. But uh, he is a proper noble now. And that's exactly what we wanted, you know? He needs he needs these proper robes. And now next thing he needs is a throne room. Well, that might have to wait. I think we're gonna build a throne room after we expand out here, which uh, I'm probably not gonna do a thing with until we get bigger walls, which shouldn't be too long, because whenever we get bigger walls, we're gonna have to redo pretty much everything. You can't upgrade these walls. Oh shit, is this thing missing again? There's a piece missing again. In here, but I think it's blocked enough that nobody can actually go through here. Oh, that's bullshit. That's real bullshit. But yeah, you can't upgrade these uh, level two walls. You need to build level three walls separately. And yeah, well, that's gonna be a pain in the ass on its own whenever we decide to do that. But for now, that's okay. So everything has been delivered. I gave more of my crafters like Miss Bread. Uh, and Templar, I gave them the lanterns so they can use those lanterns uh, whenever they're crafting. Uh, they're not gonna be ever in darkness and uh, the crafts should be fine because you know often we might be running out of uh, power so nothing will work over here. <laughs> that's, that's a problem. So I was thinking of maybe mm, like these things are pretty good but they're medium you know we might want to fit in some heavier stuff. Uh, Severo over here. I think we're gonna equip Severo with some heavy armor as well. Uh, let's get you some samurai armor, Severo. I think that's gonna be acceptable. It's interesting we can see this bench over here. That's kind of weird. 
Uh, where is Severo? He's coming. Let's speed him up. Come on, buddy. We got stuff for you. Please. Oh, my God. You can't even fit inside? How are you gonna be, I don't know, a defender of this colony if you can't even fit inside? Uh, Severo is gonna go full-on samurai, I think. Uh, this is United Cities faction uniform. And we don't really have anything, any other, uh, thing we want to give you. So we're gonna give you these. I'm gonna keep the Shinigami, Tabi. This thing has 100%, uh, leg protection. Uh, this is gonna at least keep him slightly, you know, fast. Slightly, I say. Not amazingly. But there is Severo now. Looking mighty fine. Look at that pretty blue colors that we have. Oh, I like this. This is our faction uniform. Eventually, we kind of want to outfit everybody in the same stuff. Even though this green on Guts looks extremely nice. But this is also pretty, pretty freaking cool. Right, Arthur, yeah, you keep on smashing those plating. We're gonna need more. In fact, uh, let us start producing some more of these. Uh, if we make uh, masterwork plated long boots, then you don't get the uh, athletics malice on them. You can see there's an athletic effect. But if they're masterwork, there's no athletic effect. I think that might be the same for samurai boots, but I'm not 100% sure. We should try. I'm actually gonna have... Uh, Templar makes some of these, because Templar is, he's at 89, so, you know, there's a good chance there's gonna be some masterwork. You need to be at 100 to guarantee masterwork stuff, but 89 is a good start, I think. So we're gonna have him do some of these samurai boots and see how that goes. Oh, looks like these things are turning again, look at that, we're gonna get power. Oh, that's so awesome. That's gonna give these hemp farms enough time to grow. I think I might actually build two more hemp farms over here and just spam hemp and get enough generators to keep us going. Now, he's still working on tech level five and whenever we get tech level five, we can get more stuff. Actually, I'm gonna just open up the tech level six, I think. Are you full on fabrics? Oh, we're full on fabrics. Yeah, we could uh, get some more crafters, get some more uh, crafting going over here. That, would, uh, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see, electrical workbench. Oh, that was the wrong button to press. How about we smack it in here? We need 10 iron plates, easy money. And we can have this over here. I think this is gonna be, maybe D-Max. Maybe D-Max is gonna work on this. Because electrical components crafting uh, raises your science skill. And D-Max is the highest on that, so... Uh, I think he might be the one going in here. Uh, let's see if we can find storage for electric electric calls. I'm just gonna smack in a couple. There you go, perfection. They're totally in line. No worries there. <laughs> and for now, I've just been dropping down torch posts. We're gonna eventually replace this with electrical stuff whenever we have enough power. But for now, this is gonna be a start, and then. We can have more people crafting out there, which is going to be great. There we go, there's our electrical components and workbench done. Uh, let's Actually, let's put uh, some of these guys into the worker slots. Uh, let's see, Rulin, you need to be out here as well. Oh, I forgot to give Buttons a shirt. I know we have a shirt for Buttons. We're going to need a research for that as well. Uh, to make some of those leather shirts for hivers. Even though we don't have that many hivers, which is still sad. But uh, we're gonna have to do that. So Buttons, how about you go check for that high vest? I remembered right now, there you go. It's a high grade leather vest for you. You're gonna look, you're gonna look just peachy in this. Look at this man. The man, the myth, the legend. Buttons. I like him. He's not very good at fighting quite yet, but he's there. Okay, uh, so I think... I think I'm gonna get Han. Han, you are a guard type of person, and now with enough training, you are fine to stay around here. And since DMAX is gonna have a lot of uh, research to do uh, these days, I'm gonna get you on electrical workbench. I see you've been working on some farming in the past, but for now, we're gonna get you an electrical workbench. And you probably don't have these two assigned, because yeah, and you probably also don't have that one assigned. 
Yes, indeed. Okay, so whenever you don't have anything to do there, do that. And for now, Han is going to work with some electrical stuff. I also bought her the skeleton uh, mask type. I don't know if I told you that before, but I did it. I did it. So, good. Uh, who else needs a job? We need a lot of these guys repaired, but Clank is still just lying on the bed repairing slowly. <laughs> His legs were completely wrecked. And for him, I need some, like, heavy armor, because he's also a protector. I gave Ray the samurai armor, uh, but I don't have more leg plates, so we're gonna start working on more of those. So we can equip these guys proper. I think I will give Gnu uh, proper heavy armor as well. And I think it's gonna be time for Fenner to upgrade his helmet. Like, his basket hat has been great, but uh, it's not gonna be great in the long run. So let's send him in here. Let's get him uh, upgraded a bit. Although, his nice green gear might uh, not be that good with a blue helmet. There's a Master Flared helmet. Let's see how you look, buddy. I mean, it's not the worst. It is not the worst. And it's gonna give you so much more protection. And we can all see your face and your whatever those things are. But yeah, that, that looks good though. That looks good. He's gonna be more protective now. Okay, that's nice. Buttons, is there no farming stuff to do? That's disappointing. But hey, you, you know the drill. You know the drill. This thing, yeah, nothing is... Uh, where's Raleen? Raleen? Hmm. Why are you not hauling my cotton? Is this all full? Should, do I really need to assign you to this one too? Hmm, I guess I have to assign her to another one. I was hoping she would just, uh, you know, haul it no matter what, but I guess that wasn't true. I guess that's fine. Yeah, go haul to that one, Raleen, as well. Perfect, because there's plenty. So DMAX is almost done with the level 5, and then we can get level 6, and then we can start working on all the good stuff. All the good stuff and things. Now, this is my electrical crafting. Okay, so next thing we really, 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 really do need is steel production. Plenty of iron plates right now. These guys have been working on some iron as well, but you can see it's not going that... Well, so we're gonna have to do some non-manual iron production right now. Actually, nobody is helping you, so... One of the expeditionary forces that doesn't have anything to do, like Hazard. Hazard, go help with the iron production right now. Cryos and Lucy are the only ones working on it. Nobody's working on stone production, but I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, Cryos is usually the one working on this. So this is fine. Bane... He's mining out here, getting some copper done. Good. Okay. So, steel. Where are we gonna do steel production? That's a good question. I mean, it should be somewhere close. We only have what seems to be a level one steel refinery. I think I'm gonna swap, uh, snap it somewhere out here. I think we should be able to just build two large hemp, uh, farms just next to it so let's see uh, where's my farming the reason I want a lot is because we, this is gonna be our main power production it's only 30 hemp I think uh, I can start working on two more something like this maybe auto save thank you yes 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 good good okay sure we won't be able to build them quite yet but we'll be able to build them soon good stuff okay so we have one new harpoon over here but Thorin ranger doesn't seem to be wanting to shoot out there hidegoroshi let's get you in this one and Thorin ranger let's make sure you're in this one are you kidding me right now though <laughs> that's not exactly what i wanted so these guys are not actually targeting any of these beakers out here, but they shouldn't have any problems. Shoot down here. I'm pretty sure they should have no problem shooting down there. Shoot that. 
Yeah. Why are you doing this? That's a good question. Why are you doing this? Shoot at that beaker. Take it down. It's a big boy, bad boy beaker. Huh. Okay. Um, let me take these away from you. gonna go back on those thank you I mean I guess the reason why not what they are not shooting is because these things are not exactly attacking our gates right now so they are kind of ignoring them but at least it should give them a better access over here to guard these gates you know I hope I hope <laughs> at least okay that's that's done I have uh, Severe and Shirudo over here helping make our first steel bars, which is amazing. So we got some of those. Uh, Clank, I need to get you new armor. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. We got some nice new armor for you. Templar has made. Potentially one of these. There you go. You can have some heavy stuff and you can have some heavier stuff. There you go. Alright, yeah, they're looking good, aren't they? And this bluish armor, I like this. I like our faction uniform. I had him make more of this, so I can equip everybody. Unfortunately, he made no masterwork boots for me to, you know, 100% check that thing. That's slightly annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, I guess I can tell him to do more. Um, okay, let's just make me a bunch of these. Not that we're going to use them. Well, I mean, if they're masterwork, we will probably use them. But uh, make these for now. Now, anything else we'd want to do? Not really. Uh, yes, actually, a couple of plate jackets because we don't have that good one. So I'm actually gonna make a couple more. Hmm, maybe more uh, flared helmets. I really like flared helmets. They are really solid. Biofuel distillery. Okay, not wood, green fruit, wheat, straw, hemp. There you go. Biofuel distillery for hemp. Hemp is the most efficient fuel source and can be produced two times faster than from other crop types. Well, that's exactly what we need. And we're gonna put this bad boy up top and we're gonna have somebody work it. I don't care who it is, but somebody's gonna work this. Uh, let's get you, not that one. Just the torch post here for now. And we're gonna need some storage for fuel as well. Is there, uh, there should be, no, it's not a special one. Is it storage fuel? It's storage fuel. Okay. Um, where are we gonna put this though? I guess we could put one storage over here. Although I usually tend to put these ones outside. Cause you know, they kind of look something like something that should be outside. Let's get these bad boys over here. Can I put one over here as well? No. Okay, I think this is going to be fine. Good. Okay, let's have that be built. That's going to be, again, a lot of power. But once we get all of this fixed, and once we get enough hemp produced, we're going to have plenty of power going just from the generators. So we won't just have building today. Let's actually do some fighting. So Ganyu and Hazard are both pretty low in stats. And I gave this guy a stick. So, set him free. And you two, attack the man. Attack unprovoked, I guess. And let's see how well you do. Uh, Ganyu should have taunt on, I guess. And let's get uh, Hazard maybe doing some more damage. Ganyu, get that taunt going. Nice swing there. Go, boys. Nice, nice. Uh, I have a feeling Hazard's going to go down pretty fast. Uh, I hope you guys are not shooting out here. Don't do that. Okay. You knew you're not really using that taunt well. Because <laughs> this guy is definitely going for Hazard. But I guess because he gets staggered so much, he doesn't get to use that taunt as well. But Hazard is definitely getting his melee defense up now. So that's good. He's going to get smacked by this fool. And you knew he's going to get his attack off since he's managing to attack more. 
Yeah, this is, uh, this is going pretty well for these dudes. But uh, he's just going to rag them. Hazard has switched to his secondary. That's okay. You know, he wanted to have a katana secondary. And Hazard is down. Okay, you knew. I have a feeling you're just going to go down real soon. Ooh, Hazard is back up. I have seen a bolt fly in here. I don't think that's acceptable. Okay. Well, we're going to open this. We're going to send Stilo in. Let's see how well Stilo does. Since he is uh, our main boy when it comes to fighting. Go get him. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, Stilo is going to have some issues as well over here. But not as much as these two guys had. Let's see if Gnu can have uh, some taunting going on. Gnu taunt him. Wow, that, that swing. No, he blocked it. Hazard is also coming in, you know? This guy is just gonna wreck half of our base right there. Although Steel is doing pretty, pretty well. That's gonna level up his attacks as well, because, you know... Yeah, his defense went up by two points for Stilo. So that's, that's definitely good training, you know? Since he was at 58, yet just a couple of hits still got him up to 60. Which just means this is, like, really good training. And this guy has some solid armor. You know, we want him to have some solid armor, so we get to fight him longer. Okay. Uh, poor Hazard is gonna be down for a bit now. But, you know, that was kinda to be accepted, because... Uh... Oh, Gnu is also down now. Yeah. It's gonna be a recovery comma. Let's see, how did his stats go? It's pretty solid. Pretty solid right there. Still is gonna get obliterated by this fool now. Oh yeah, his melee defense is also getting up. Very nicely. This is like when I was uh, playing solo with Ruka and I captured Bugmaster and I just used him as for training. That was crazy good. Like, Ruka's skills went up real fast. But I have a feeling you're gonna need some help. How about help from this terrible, terrible Leviathan Slayer, uh, Slayer man? Get in here, buddy. Uh, let's see. Did we... Yeah, we got our tech up. Now, before we go to tech level 6, which we can, because it just needs AI cores, and we have plenty of those. Mm, I want... There is this. Steel bars too, definitely need that. But before this, I want advanced weapon smithing too. So this is going to allow us to build a weapon smith level 3, which is going to allow us to use steel and uh, fabrics, and we're going to be able to make a lot of better stuff. Well, of course, first we're going to need to get these advanced weapon grades as well, but that shouldn't be that problem. But yes, let's go for this. And... I'm going to wait a bit. I think. Yeah, let's let's get this first. It's only gonna be four hours. Okay, Ray. My expeditionary Ray is coming in to help my boy Stilo. Who is, you know, still up. I don't have a feeling uh, Ray is gonna be able to do too much. Due to the fact that he really has this crappy weapon. Although his his strength is now actually solid. He did plenty of damage though, swinging at that. So, yeah, whenever we can, I'm gonna make Ray a better weapon. But for now, I just love the fact that he has this this huge monstrosity of a weapon that he can barely lift. <laughs> it's so cool. I imagine if he gave Leviathan Slayer to this guy, that would be something much different. But hey, look at Ray go. Oh boy, but Ray Ray is good. Like you can see, Ray skills are both they level up much slower than normal. Melee attack and defense. Yet he's over fifties as well, so he's doing pretty well. Stilo though, yeah, Stilo is definitely getting out there. We got him some more training one on one with this guy, and Stilo is gonna be in seventies soon, and that's that's a respectable number. Especially if you can get him uh, some really good weapons, like his uh, nice Reaper. So it looks like Ray is doing a lot of fighting right now. Oh, Ray, nice, nice hit there. Yeah, Ray got 
stats in here as well. So this was was actually real good. Okay, heal them up. Okay, so we have some hemp. We have uh, this ready. So I think we should start uh, the fuel production. Who's gonna work on that though? It's a very good question. Uh, I need somebody. Uh, since we're, I'm hoping we're gonna be getting a lot of uh, power soon. We might switch Behemothia to that right now, but uh, that's not really needed. Maybe you could get uh, one of these guys that don't really have anything else to do. Like uh, Redding doesn't have anything else to do. Redding, you are gonna start working on biofuel distillery, and you're gonna start start making us some fuel. How's your laboring? It's amazing. So uh, yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to have somebody that can do that that uh, is better laboring so it would go faster but this is this is pretty good though okay i think next thing i'm gonna work on now that we have all of this positioned is that security thing that you guys have seen before so i can put guard posts out here and then assign people to them which would be great you know have like behemothian over here panzer over here you know it's, it would be the same as guards outside of, uh, like, faction cities. So, Behemothian and Panzer. And we could have... I think Akuma would be the one as well. Akuma wanted to be a, a, a guard. And Fenner wanted to be a guard. So, we could do... That. Although, I think at first I don't want... I don't want anybody that is uh, not a Skelly out here quite yet. Let's get like this and let's get you like this maybe just close together and then we can do more skelly voice okay let's confirm that and let's open this up I don't know if these torches will actually give us a uh, light but it would be cool so I'm gonna open this up so they can build us and then we're gonna assign people to that and then we're gonna open the gates and then we're gonna see what happens Okay, so I am gonna dismantle these things. They do not work well. Because you know how our people uh, walk through this gate? Yeah. Also, when you set them to guard over there, I tried to lure them. He... Yeah, that, that wasn't well. That didn't go well. Let's just say that. Good. Uh, yeah, that's slightly broken. I tried Control shift f 11 a couple of times and just... I don't know why it's obnoxious, but it's obnoxious. And he also didn't want to go build the small shack. Even though he should be able to. Now, the small shack I built over here uh, for two reasons. First reason is to kind of block this disappearing wall over here. If it, again, disappears more. Thanks for not building this. Where the hell did you put all your building materials? I swear to God. He went and dropped them all back here. <sighs> God damn it. Luathan. Get your ass out there. Who's under? Oh, these guys. Yeah, you keep on shooting. Get your ass out here. Uh, those gates are slightly broken. So. That's that's a problem. But He he just won't build stuff. Out here, they, they have issues building. Um, he is also stuck now. What the hell, game? Would you please stop? Troll shift F11? Doesn't help. Oh my god. I can't even get him to do anything. You can move here, but you can't move there. You can't move there. I hate this. I hate this so much. <clears throat> okay. Get rid of this thing. Right. I guess we're dismantling the searchlights. Then we're dismantling the stupid gate. Thank you. Okay. Mm, so, the man I would want over here would be, of course, Behemothian. Let's see how this looks. And Panzer, of course. Mothian and Panzer. Let's get you out here. This is gonna be your main jobs. Let's see how this looks. So he stands there. Panzer stands here. Just stands on top of that torch. This is okay. 
This is okay. Very defensive, Boisu. Ah, you have the Falling Sun. Okay. And you have the Plate Mace. That's a good defensive weapon. You're gonna need that. Falling Sun. We could uh, potentially get a better one. Akuma. Wanted to be a guard as well. Now, Akuma's got... I think Akuma will need to upgrade his armor first. Let's get him in here. We should have... Yeah, Akuma. Don't know if Samurai, because I don't think you wanted a Samurai, but you definitely get a Samurai leg plates. Have we not? Oh, we've not made uh, the plate jackets yet. Let's make me a plate jacket for Akuma. Just so we can get a better than high uh, grade. But let's say Akuma goes there. No longer shall you do farming. You go out here, and who else would it be? Oh, Brother Marcus, of course. Uh, Brother Marcus is... He needs a better samurai armor. Do we have... Yes, we do. A specialist grade. Let's get Brother Marcus a specialist grade samurai armor. Good. Very nice. And how about you drop all the stuff that you are carrying right now. And we get to up here. Uh, actually, let's make this a proper job for you. Yep. There you go. Okay, we could have put them a bit further apart. That's okay. And now, you don't need jobs. Get over here. Tink, you don't need jobs. Get over here. Now, Tink and Tong are... I don't think you can assign them. I wonder if you can actually assign them. Can you? Doesn't seem to be the case. That's a shame. But... We'll see what happens. We'll close this. We'll keep these guys guarding out here. And we'll open the doors. Of hell. Beakers! You're now welcome in here. We are ready for you with our defensive group. Akuma might not be defensive enough. And these guys need some healing before they're gonna be like properly defensive. Tink and Tonk are gonna be pretty weak and get destroyed by other big things. But we also have support from these guys up top that should have... Your precision shooting is perfection. Thorn Ranger, 100%. N473, 100%. Hitogoroshi. Hitogoroshi might shoot some of our own people. That's not that good. So hopefully you stay on the outskirts out here and just shoot anything that's out there. So while we wait for any beakers to come in and actually try to assault us, uh, we now have enough extra fuel production to start working on some generators. Oh, that's good. Now, where are we going to do them? You know, it would make sense to have generators near this area. And I think it's time. Oh, you guys are slightly weird right now. Uh, what we're going to do is remember when I wanted to have like same as these houses on this side, because we have like these mounted crossbows up here. Um, so if anything comes in, it would be like this corridor of death out here. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna build two more storm houses out here. Uh, just on the side. You can find them. Storm houses, but don't go with big ones, just go with small ones. And we want them to be facing this way. So, roughly like the ones we have on the other side. Ooh, don't go that far in. Something like this. Let's have you properly positioned and... Let's see, something like this maybe? Yeah, let's do something like that, and then this one can go something like this. Yes, I think this is good, right? Two extra storm houses over here, and in between, we can then do again some just of these uh, camp fences, because it, it definitely blocks anything and everything. I'm just going to do something like this. Sure, that seems good. And this one in between, and then everything that comes through has to run over here, where we can have like a defensive setup of these fences, again, set up. So something like this, 
something like that, funnel them into this tight corridor, we could have more people waiting for them. I think this is pretty cool, you know, it's kind of a kill boxy thing to do. So yeah, and then we can have generators maybe out here. Oh, in one of these buildings or any of these buildings, because this, we have fuel now. And fuel is good. Come on, ah, ah, no, they're not coming in quite yet. Who are you fighting out here? Oh, it's nomads. I think they were coming here to do some stuff for us. Yet, I don't think they're doing pretty pretty good. Uh, that's, uh, that's a crimper getting destroyed. I actually seen wild crimpers up uh, far north when we were tra uh, traveling. There's a problem with those. They would like hit you, kill you in one hit. There's nothing you can even do. They have like a thousand strength. So definitely not something you want to fight. These guys over here are still standing and waiting for anything to happen. And while we build these things, let's speed it up. Yeah, we need those generators because our battery charge is down, which means nothing has full power. And that's just a big problem. So if you can get a couple... We only have small generators right now. We would need to research... Hmm, electrics and... Heavy generators, yes. We need two ancient science books we don't have, which is really, really annoying. The fact that we don't have science books. Like, we are really doing badly on that. Okay, so this one built. I guess for now we're just gonna do small ones. And I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do two small ones. So, uh, just two jennies. Get them down here. And we're gonna smack them. Not exactly in a corner. I think uh, later on we'll want big ones in here, so... Let's have the small ones maybe on this side. We have two small ones right there. I think this is good. Let's confirm that. And then we're gonna need somebody that's really gonna focus on just delivering fuel there. Like that's gonna be the main delivery. So maybe Raleen... Uh, until she's got some proper cooking to do. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to set up soon. Uh, she could work on that. Now, these beakers have been causing issues. Our guys are still not really shooting at them, which is obnoxious. Uh, you knew you were fully healed. Let's get you out of here. Uh, Stilo needs some proper healing. Yup, for sure. Okay, you guys are gonna build those iron plates and copper. I've been using a lot of iron plates lately. Yeah, a lot of these have been used because we had. Quite a lot of prepared, quite a lot of them prepared previously, but now they're all been just wrecked. And iron go is going down as well, mm, for sure. See, so yeah, we're gonna need more people. Ashiru is getting food. I was wondering where he was running off to. Yeah, you get that food. Mm, Shiru, are you happy with the outfit we have on you right now? I think you're fine. The fences are here, so you can see. What a nice corridor this would be, especially if I put some more uh, crossbows up here, which we can easily do. Just just normal mounted crossbows, you know. One here, and I kind of like the corner ones, these ones, but let's put one here, and then one here, and one here. Good. A lot of iron plates again, but... Eventually, this this might save lives. This might indeed save lives. Uh, have you guys built the generators? No, you have not. You're onwards to glory to do that. Just bring it in copper, huh? There you go. Bring in the copper. There you go. This is all gonna get built. Okay. So, who's gonna be doing this? Crimson, what do you do? You are co corpse disposal and stuff like that. How about you, Hunter? Hunter is uh, being a farmer. I think we have a lot of farmers right now. So I think, Hunter, this is going to be your two main things. You will be hauling to these small jennies. You'll need to operate them. Just haul two. It's going to be your main two things. There you go. So now he should start working on this. You got all the fuel that you can get. And that thing... Oh, it's got 70 power output because we have them upgraded, I think. 
Oh, let's go. That is a lot of power, just from the two small ones. Oh, so good. That is so good. Our battery is gonna fill up soon. Oh, that's the first beaker coming in there. Let's see how the guards respond. They're going for it. For sure. And of course, uh, people are shooting at it. Okay, I wanna see if they're gonna go properly repair. Tink and Tonk. Hmm, they do. They do. And of course, uh, they should. Uh, these things should really get killed by the harpoons. But as they stack over here, that's gonna be a problem. I think what we're gonna do. Hmm. I would like to have somebody doing course disposal, but I'm afraid they're gonna run way out there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna do. They would run way out there. So for now, I'm just gonna kill these guys since we're here. So yeah, whenever I'm not paying attention to them, they would get out there. They would get themselves stuck and stuck and wouldn't be good. Yeah, what about this one? Didn't you? When did you get here? Well, guards definitely doing their jobs. I love that. You know, they're here to tank while the harpooners kill. That's perfect. That is perfect. All of these things are also built. Good. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so these houses over here can, of course, be used for anything we want. Tech level 6 is coming. Hmm. Uh, do we have... We have plank as a heavy. What else do we have as a heavy weapon? I don't even know if we have anything else. Yeah, we really need to go to Shacklands. Those guys are gonna have a lot of good stuff for us. When it comes to this. Oh, we do have... Uh, no, Framax is a hacker. Right, Fragment X is the, is the big boy. Holy Cross, Battle Hoes, Tachis, Sudachis. We have a lot of katana-based stuff. But then Heavy Cross. That's a really good defensive weapon, actually. Plus A defense. Let's make me... That and that. And of course, that's gonna be our main man, Templar, who is currently aimless, apparently. Templar, what are you doing? Yeah, what, what it seems to be the problem? You have you have plenty inventor inventory space to deliver this, this thing. So you could easily go craft again, but you're not gonna, because uh, you are now gonna go back to being a weaponsmith for me. So let's make me that, that weapon. And you made a uh, play jacket for Akuma. Okay, so up top over here, I have built a medical workbench. And I know there's a recruit that we want to get in who is a doctor. And he's going to be able to make some of this good stuff for us. Right now, we can only make uh, standard stuff. Because I didn't want to research because we didn't have hemp production before. Because for the better medicine, you actually need hemp. So whenever we get that good research... Uh, we're gonna go and get our doctor. Hopefully, we're gonna find him on our next expedition. Because after we're done with this, I'm sending my expedition. I think they're gonna go down to the swamps, just for fighting uh, sake. But otherwise, they're gonna go to border zone. There should be a bunch of recruits out there that we can get. Some new people, we bring them back. And um, yeah, I know one of them is doctor. And he's gonna be able to work on this medical workbench for us. And I'm very much looking forward to having a really good doctor with real good medicine uh, skills for us. Now, we have plenty of cactuses, it seems. And no veggies, so how about we start making some juice sticks instead of veggies. I hear a lot of shooting out here. Okay, so there's some beakers. The beakers are done. Good stuff. Let's get you up top. Okay, Brother Marcus is not stuck. Good. Good stuff. I like this. They all get hurt occasionally. But that's not a problem. I don't mind that. I don't mind if they get hurt. That's gonna get their toughness up. And we definitely want Tink and Tonk to level up. Like, that's really important that these... Oh, he's an adult already. Yeah, you need... We really need to get them more into fights. Because as they get more into fights they, you know, get better. Looks like Tonk is one of those stuck ones. Are you guys operating machines? I guess you are. 
But Tonk is... Oh, get unstuck, Tonk. This is the worst. Uh, it's not exactly working as I hoped it would, and it's mostly because of this stupid gate and the way it works, but hey. I built a couple of rain collectors. I think this is the first time ever that I built rain collectors. They're looking cool. I like them. Like, look at this. This is a very ingenious machine. I love that. Uh, Templar is still working. Oh, actually, he has made the first weapon. Where'd you put it? That's a Mark 1 Paladin's Heavy Cross. You know who's getting that? I think Maw is getting that. Maw, you have this thing right now. It has very nice attack and defense bonus. That's good for you, but... You know, I think you deserve better. I think you deserve something that you can actually handle. This is 67 kilos. It's not the best. Where are you, Maw? Are you coming? You come on in, buddy. There you go. This is 19 kilos, so he is going to be able to swing much faster with this thing. It's going to do solid damage against robots as well, because, you know, we're going to be apparently fighting some skelly boys. So, that's good. You can hardly see that thing on his back, but... I think this is going to be much better for him. His attack is down by a lot now, but uh, that just means he's going to have more training with it. You know, he's going to level up faster, which is good. Uh, what is your weapon severe? Oh, right. He's got this triangle uh, blade. That thing is pretty freaking cool. I like that. Okay, and Templar is making us another plank. So somebody to use it. Uh, I don't know who exactly should use that, but yeah, just need we need more heavy weapon production really and uh, uh, We might give the the plank to uh, Ray instead of this huge ass Leviathan Slayer Yeah, otherwise I think this episode has turned out pretty good. Uh, we've done a lot of work. Steal all your heal. You don't need to be there anymore. Get out. Get your ass out of here. Uh, what we could do is again uh, just finish it off with another fight. So Hazard. Let's see how well Hazard and Gnu do this time around. Yeah, let's get you out of here and steal an ray. You guys are gonna be the guardians of the galaxy getting ready out here to help if needed. Which it probably will be needed. But yeah, let's let's get you uh, guys out here. You can release this poor prisoner. Set him free. Let's have you guys. Who shot him? Stop that. Don't shoot him. We're gonna fight him. Hey! Stop this, you guys up there. Stop that. I'm trying to train over here. Oh, look at that. Hazard is getting some nice hits in. Very good. Uh, Gnu just got shot by our own people. That's that's not good. Oh, Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, move our prison. I don't want them shooting at our prisoners. Would you please freaking stop? You up top. Let's have you vacate the premise. Run out there to the corner. Quickly. There you go. That's much better. Let's get these guys. Definitely gonna get their defense up. Hazard, you just need one more swing and you're gonna get uh, 30 in melee attack. Just one more swing, dude. What's Gnu doing? He's got 20 in attacks. Come on, Hazard. Oh, dude, just one more swing is all you needed. Gnu is gonna get wrecked now. And then Ray and Steelo are gonna come in. Okay. Get that swing in, Hazard. Get that swing in. I believe in you. You missed him, dude. You completely missed. Uh, none of going through the wall. I don't want that. Get over here. Hazard did it, though. Good job, buddy. Okay, just get him out here. Away from the wall. Because, you know, as always, things like this guy can glitch the wall and we don't want that for sure you guys know what to do Roscoe and Pico stop this everybody else stop that we have a uh, ray and steel coming in to help this guy's legs are not doing that good did I just see somebody shoot are you guys again up here why are you so fast stop doing that get out there we want to get our own boys in here. Uh, I think they're going to take care of him pretty fast now. No, 
Stilo is definitely doing quite good. <laughs> Ray with that weapon. It's just, just so funny. Oh, Hazard's back up. Let's go. Inu also has the slowest swing ever. He really needs to get his strength up. Oh, yeah. Our expedition, whoever is going to be when they go back out there. They're going to need to do a lot of hauling. Yeah. I see shooting again. Crowden! I thought you were supposed to craft us uh, bolts. What are, you, what are you trying to do over here? Well, now with four of us, we might actually get some more. You two are just the worst because you never even get to swing in there. Uh, he's at 47 defense though, we knew. That's really good. Stilo is also getting up there. Ah, yeah, Hazard got the 31. Very nice, Skelly boys. Very nice. Every time these this guy blocks, who is shooting in? Wildfire. Stop that. Stop that. Every time he blocks, they still get some XP. Oh my god, you guys are too fast. Just too fast. I could put them on passive, but guess who's gonna forget that I put them on passive? Yep, this man. Still is up to 67. Very nice. They're all waiting for Ray to swing that huge thing. I don't think he got any hits in there. Uh, well, I'm waiting for Templar to finish this plank so we can give it to Ray and hope it's gonna be Mark 1. If it's not Mark 1, I'm gonna tell him to just make another one. Just tell him to make more, you know. It's gonna be good. But yeah, training versus a man that has 97 attack and 80 defense. It's just gonna do very well. I think there's people shooting again. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna let him shoot now. This guy's legs were both in the negatives, yet he still fought. It's amazing. Let's see. Steel got up there. Hazard got up there. We knew you got some more swings in. Ray didn't really get any skills. But that's okay. You knew and Hazard are completely wrecked though. Jesus. You guys need to get yourself fixed. That's okay. Uh, heal this guy. He's very useful. I like him. We're definitely gonna keep on using him. Indeed, a very useful man. Okay. You knew you are wrecked. Get yourself healed in there. And we're gonna put this guy back into a cage. Okay. So, I think we have everything ready to go back out there and uh, get some more recruits. Because you can see, you know, our base still needs more people, as is tradition. Please pick him up. Please pick him up. <laughs> Look at that. I can't click on pick him up at all. Fuck's sake. It's not letting me click on put in. Good. Okay. Well, get your jobs back on. Everybody. Good. Okay. So, yeah. Expedition time. Soon. Uh, we're gonna go to the easy lands. Well, easy lands. Compared to where we were before, it's gonna be easier. But, I think... We might also go check out Holy Nation and Arcus Trap because we need ancient science books and we need them bad. So yeah, that might be the closest place where we can get some. So that's definitely something I want to do because we really, really are lacking on those ancient science books. And I don't necessarily want to go... I mean, we were at the grid. There's a lot of stuff in here as well where we could get ancient science books. So, uh, those might be the places where we're gonna go. Uh, we have some closer stuff out here, though. So, we might also check that out. Oh, look, we have a nice uh, map now. We are a major city now on the map. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna finish the episode here. Let's see if Templar has finished this. Not quite yet. Oh, well. Uh, you guys are gonna get surprised when it's gonna be Mark 1 later on. Yeah, good. So yeah, for now, thank you everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys in the next episode. For now, go out.